Hiya Jim, lovely to meet up with you again and do some further work on your game. Uh, just a quick recap on the key points that we discussed. I mean, th this is by far my favourite change of the year so far. Um, I think the, the, you know, the progression you've made from your first visit over on the left hand side uh, in early April to where you are now. Uh, three weeks into May, so seven week period uh, is quite remarkable really, I mean the backswing's changed uh, I like where you are at the top but the move from the top into the golf ball as you can see from these images here has changed dramatically you can see what we talked about on the left hand side were the butt of the club or the hands don't move away from the right shoulder enough on the drill where we swing to the top and stop and then hit the sequencing of movements from the top is more efficient in order to get the job done there is more, no momentum or rhythm in place as a result the right arm expands more gradually uh, widening the radius of the swing meaning that this, this right knee doesn't have to kink in quite as much it's a little bit of flex going in that knee, but that's fine. I haven't got a problem with that at all. And then here we have you at the end of your third visit. Uh, real swing, not pose, not doing a drill. Uh, flat out. And your initial reaction was quite interesting. When you saw this swing, your initial reaction was uh, almost one of, uh, of disappointment in the fact that you felt it hadn't changed that much. Uh, quite the contrary, if you look at the, the image far left and far right, that's a dramatic change. I mean, the, heel, the knee isn't kicking in anywhere near as much. You can see that the trail foot doesn't pop up as much and isn't spinning round as much. So there's less flexion going in the knees. The right arm expanding means that the knee does not have to flex as much. So what you're doing on the far left is you're lowering the butt of the club by dropping the right shoulder and flexing the right knee. You can see as this you get that cramped look on the left rather than that sort of that wider look that you're seeing in the centre and the right hand side where you look like you've got all the time in the world. And you can see that as you come through in the middle where you're doing the drill that creates the best move of this spectrum. But the move on the far right has a lot more of that center swing in the, you can see there, I mean, the rate of, of which, you know, the right hand passes your left on the far left image is quite remarkable. I mean, there's a lot going on to impact the one in the center is world class. And the one on the right is really starting to take shape. You can see how things are happening at a much more incremental rate. I'm just going to play these through to the finish now for you. A much more balanced, a much more organised move. Uh, nothing working excessively. And then you can start to come up into that slightly different finish where you don't look as sort of flex forward through impact. See there, that's a bit of an afterthought on that one. And then when you're doing the drill, much more of an incremental move. So if we look at the finishes, they're relatively similar, but the way in which we've arrived there, uh, completely different progress. So keep expanding the right arm, keep working on the drill. The drill where you pause at the top and stop is the drill that you need to be working on in training. So good luck with it. Any questions, feel free to email me. And as I said before, you're doing great. Keep up the good work. I look forward to seeing you in a few weeks' time. Well done.